Retro Games console in the bar um, a month or two ago and although it's not being used now it's actually surprisingly popular and tonight it's fairly quiet in the bar It's been a while since my last video um, I've had some personal and private stuff to sort out uh, it's been sorted out also my main PC has died a death Normally my PCs, my personal PCs, I build from scratch. Um, I'm going to get one uh, built for me, and that's going to come through oof, a month or two. I haven't actually ordered it yet, I'm still researching parts that I want. But when that comes through, I'll have my video editing PC back up and running, and some more videos will be coming soon. At the moment I can only do short videos on my laptop. But I will be back making videos about audio stuff, um, some electronics videos and anything else that gets my attention but today I wanted to show you these my longboard collection specifically four motorized longboards one two three four and my two manual longboards I've been watching videos of motorized longboards on YouTube for ooh, a good year and a bit now and last year I went to New York for um, a holiday in New York, motorized longboards are fairly common, um, and everyone knows about Casey Neistat. Uh, if not, I suggest you look at his channel, it's awesome. And I thought when I get back to Cambridge, I'm definitely going to get myself uh, a manual longboard with plans to getting a motorized longboard afterwards, um, and I could get the hang of it. So I came to Cambridge and I got that voltage longboard, which is a beginner's type thing, um, which I really enjoyed. Then I got the Atom longboard, and um, this had softer wheels, which made a big difference. So I went back to that one and retrofitted some very soft wheels, um, and those two now um, uh, I really like. But I got the hang of it, I thought, okay, time for my first motorized longboard. So I got this, which is a Chinese clone, um, also known as Luov, L U O O V, um, Backfire. Magneto, Leg Deck, and various other names. It's surprisingly good, better than people give it credit for. Then I got hold of a Magneto board, which is the same as that, purely because they were going for a steel. Then I got hold of a boosted board. I think I'm one of the very few people in the UK to have one of those. Um, I got it off a guy who is a reviewer for a notable online technological blog, technology blog, and they sent it to him to review and he could keep it. So I bought it off him and as far as he knows he's the only one to have one. But um, how true that is I don't know. I'm definitely the only person in Cambridge to have a boosted board or any motorised on board. Um, anyway, so after that I then got the Metro board, which is it's a, it's a heavy duty thing, it's like a tank, but the range is fantastic. I've, um, I have Strava on my phone, and I thought I'd test a couple of these things for the range, see how far they can go. And I've not done that one yet, I've not done that one yet. I did this one, the boosted board. This is the top of the range version, with two motors at the back. And officially it does four to six miles, no that's not correct, officially it does six to eight miles, uh, depending on your body weight. Um, I go to the gym and lift the occasional weight, so I'm quite large, 16 stone at the moment, and that does 4.3 miles, 4.3 real miles uh, on roads around Cambridge. Cambridge is flat and um, I'm fairly large, so if I'm getting 4.3 out of it, you should get a bit more, depending on the weight that you are. Um, the speed and the power are phenomenal, um, the range isn't so great, but I'm going to hack this one. I'm going to put some batteries along here and increase the range. This the Metro board, this is meant to do 20 miles. With my body weight, again using Strava to get an accurate um, reading, I get 15 plus miles, which is awesome, I have no complaints. The speed, all the up to boosted board standards, is plenty fast. Um, so yes, there we have my board collection. Videos are going to come soon when I get my PC about these in a bit more detail. 
Um, I do like them, they're good fun. I've planned to get another one, which I know looks ridiculous, considering I've got six already. I want to get a mountain board with pneumatic wheels. Um, as good as these are, it would be nice to be able to go off-road and up and down curbs and stuff. Um, yeah, my longboard collection. I have all my hand controllers there. My chargers at the top, which are velcro to the shelf, and I can just see from the lights on them if the boards are charged up or not, and that leads to plug into them. And a box of spare bits. Anyway, I can't let you go without giving you one quick um, demonstration. Let's get the boosted board going. That's the hand controller. And Actually, it's nearly dead, but even so. And a magneto board, which is um, a Chinese clone rebadged for the UK. Great fun.